Hello, FCBC Walnut family and friends. We wanted to take this opportunity to meet with you again, to be able to share with you something about what is happening as we continue to trust God as a church family in the midst of this time, pandemic and also in the midst of reopening. Thank you for bearing with us through this past weekend where we had to online worship again. Uh, we know that it's something that for many of us we were disappointed in, but it was also something that we felt uh, not only was legal, but also something that God was giving us as an opportunity so that we can pivot. And so as we're going into this coming weekend, uh, we actually want to present to you this opportunity where we can grow through the preaching of God's word together as Pastor Hanley takes the next two weeks to preach. And so I want to give this time to Pastor Hanley to share with us what he has prepared for us and for us to listen carefully as well as to engage with our hearts and minds to think, how can this be something that I can be blessed but also benefit from as a disciple maker? Yeah, so... Uh... With, with the blessing of Pastor Albert and the support of the pastoral staff uh, for, for the English worship service, I'm going to be detouring for two weeks, and we're going to move away from Ezra temporarily. And uh, I'll be preaching mainly from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 to 11. So uh, you can go ahead and, and prepare your hearts by reading that during your devotional time, 1 Peter 4, verses 7 to 11. And what I really want to talk about is how to be the church uh, when when we're unable to gather in the way that we're used to. So uh, I know the church is working really hard. The task force is working really hard on, on preparing for um, outdoor services, but it's going to be a few weeks. We're, we're not really sure when that'll be ready because we're working through some technical hurdles of, of how, to, how, to, how to make sure that the broadcast can go through. Uh, but even if, you, if you're coming back, that's still, you know, in many ways you're kind of scattered in your own cars and even when you engage each other from a distance, you know, you have a face mask on um, and it, it's still, you still kind of feel like the scattered church in some sense. And then afterwards you go back into your cars and you exit out. Right. So it is a still, it's still a very different feeling, but I know based on our surveys that the majority of our English congregation, the majority of you are going to continue to worship online. And so what I want to really talk about is what does it mean to be the church yeah. when, we're, when we're stuck online? And so I, I think, you know, to look at an ecclesiology, which is a study of the church, right? Where there are certain things that, that only can be done physically. There are certain things that, that you cannot do uh, online, but there are specific things that define a church that can be done both online or in person. It's preferred in person, but it can also be done online. And I want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. and, and those are a lot of the ministries that are going to carry us forward mm -hmm. into 2021. I know some of you have uh, got back to us and said, you're not comfortable coming back until a vaccine is out or you're going to wait and see. And, and we want to encourage you in the sense where if you're at home, you can still be very active mm -hmm. as being a church member. So just a little teaser, but I've entitled these two sermons It's part one and part two, but it's, it's sovereign guidance, sovereign guidance for a scattered church. So it's a little bit of having, having a little bit of fun because, you know, we got the, the guidance from the California state guidance for places of worship from the governor, uh, governor's office. And then we, we have the LA County guidance for places of worship, but God actually has a guidance for, for a scattered church. And, and, and I want to show you this a little bit from first Peter, where he's writing to sojourners and exiles. And, and even some of the stuff, it's very applicable. You know, you know, for example, when he's talking about showing hospitality, and I'm going to get into this a little more, he is actually talking about something that you do in the home, because mm -hmm. many of the people were traveling and they didn't have a home. So as they're going from town to town, he's telling, he's telling them, if there's another believer, take them into your home. Now, that's very different for us in terms of COVID. But when we're talking about how to, sh how to be the church mm -hmm. when we're in our homes, I mean, First Peter kind of addresses that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, so, so that's, that's, that's where we're going to go this, this week. So sovereign guidance for a scattered church parts one and two. Uh, and uh, you know, I've been, I've also been talking with, with pastor Terrence and the English team about, you know, how you in your groups, if you're in a group, if you're not in a group, how you can, you know, email a simulation now and join a group, how we can continue to, to, to take steps forward to be the church and, and how leadership training, discipleship, a lot of this stuff continues online. I, I'm not really good with percentages, but if you talk about what we're able to do physically right now, so if we get this parking lot service going, you know, consider that that's maybe 10% of, 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 of a ministry, or if we look at that maybe one to two hours in the life of the church, right? Mm -hmm. And when, you, when you're considering that based on surveys of how many of you guys said you'd be willing to come back to that, it's maybe a fourth 
or less of our English adult congregation. So when we, so you're looking at 80% of our congregation saying we're not ready to come back yet. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about more than 90% of the life of the church happening outside of that one or two hours. I really think we can be active to be the church. So we're not just waiting until we all come back. And, and, and I think we're going to grow deeper in our disciple making. We're going to be deeper, grow deeper in our community and our ministry. So I'm excited. Pray for me. Pray for our team as we continue to pivot week to week. Pray for the church. And so, again, if you're worshiping online, you know, um, you know, we want to continue to find ways to effectively serve you. And if you're preparing to come back, we hope to see you, even though we'll be masked and everything like that. We hope to see you and at least be able to greet you from a distance. Yeah, thank you for sharing. I expect no less out of the awesome sermon titles that you usually prepare for us. And so with that, um, we would look forward to continuing to worship with you guys online. And don't forget, if you haven't filled out the survey yet from the task force, please do that. The deadline is this Saturday. We have quite a few surveyed re surveys returned, but really want to hear from as many of you as possible. We can use the data. We can use your feedback. Um, and also, please continue to pray for all of us. We're in this together. Uh, some of us are certainly in leadership positions and making calls and, and calling shots, but we're all in this together. And at the end of the day, church as family is what we are returning to with our families. So thank you guys just for continuing to persevere with us. We love you guys very much and we appreciate you.